Give me about five hours and I'll be much cuter than this. Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Annalise and today we are going to be dyeing my hair. Sometimes I get my hair done and sometimes I do it myself. I've decided to do it myself this time and I wanted to take you with me. And while I do this, we are going to be having a little q and I asked some people on our Instagram, my own Instagram and the band's Instagram to ask me questions and I've got tons for you. So, are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. So this is what we've got going on right now. We've got plenty, plenty of products thanks to Ion and Good Dye Young. If you've never used Good Dye Young, you're missing out. It's amazing and really good for your hair. Two bowls. One's going to be for the lightning bleaching process, and this one is going to be for the dyeing part. The scariest part is the bleaching part. So we're only going to do 20 volume, and we'll see how much it lightens. My hair is kind of this weird... We don't even know what it is. Is it brunette? Is it blonde? Is it gray? We don't know. Honestly, I haven't had naturally colored hair in, since I was in like sixth grade, seventh grade. Gloves. You need gloves. Get the gloves, okay? And make sure you have a beverage. Also, really important thing, put on a shirt you, you're you okay with wearing while you do this. This is my best friend's shirt and I still have it. I'm sorry, Karen, if you're watching this. I'm gonna just change shirts really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. It's uh, not vibrant at all. It's just kind of like a blue, a very boring blue. And I did hot yoga today. So when I take this out of a ponytail, it's gonna look pretty ridiculous. We're gonna go ahead and put our gloves on. <sighs> okay, let's read the directions. Okay, so the ratio here is going to be one to one or one to two. Which one's the two and which one's the one? Math is not my strongest subject. Is that math? I wasn't very good in school. Okay, ratio. Which number is which? We're gonna start filling. That looks like just spaghetti. How are you supposed to measure this stuff anyway? Okay, that seems right, sure. Like poop, that, and now we have our developer. Okay, so this was the cream lightener. This is the developer. 20 volume because I have a sense of scalp and I don't want to go too crazy. And that seems okay, right? So now we're gonna mix. I've got plenty of questions to answer for you for this Q&A. Let's get started. Most embarrassing moment at a show on stage or backstage. I'm a pretty embarrassing person and also easily embarrassed. When I was in high school, I did a lot of like theater. I was in Bye Bye Birdie. I think it was my sophomore year. And Bye Bye Birdie, if you don't know, is like a very like 50s old school musical. Poodle skirts and stuff like that. And I was in a lot of dance numbers because I was just like a backup dancer type person. There was like this big number where like everybody was in. And I dancing my heart out, doing my thing, singing. And as I turned to leave, someone stepped on my skirt and pulled it all the way down in front of everyone. And I ran off stage and cried. I think I cried a lot in high school. So this is what we've got so far. Okay, don't inhale it directly. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna brush out my hair and I'm gonna section it off. Got this wacky bun on the top of my head. And we've got all this hair. I'm gonna split it in the back so that it's kinda accessible to me, you know? Now, as we do this, just try to make sure you coat every area. Remember, we have more of this stuff, so if you are running low, it's fine. It's fine, you can make some more. What made you want to sing growing up? Well, I was always kind of like, that kid that made her parents watch her perform. You know, as I got into high school, I tried all kinds of different things. I was like in the show choir, I was in musicals, I did battle bands. I just like fell in love with that. I didn't even finish college. Yeah, I didn't even finish college. 
which is fine by the way. You can do what you love without a degree or you can do it with a degree. It's really just up to you. I'm gonna change my method here because I'm realizing how difficult and messy this is going to be to get everything and I'm just gonna take everything down. There really isn't a method to the madness. Oh yeah, as you can see, it's already lightning over here. How did you become a group? So I met this band that was performing all the time, just like me on Broadway for the same bar. They just kind of played whatever they wanted and I thought that was so cool and I was like, oh, I want that, I wanna do that. So I was like, can I just like play with you guys every weekend? And they were like, yeah, sure. So I did, I did that. Cal was the piano player for that. Cal and I just like really hit it off and we writing a song with him was like so easy. We convinced Mike, Mike was living in Pittsburgh still at the time, convinced him to move down and then we became a trio and that's how we became a group. We're still looking good. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just like sectioning off because you want to make sure you get everything. You know, you see how I turned that over and then all of a sudden it was like brown again. Yeah, we, we don't want that. We, we want to make sure we get everything. So I'm just doing either side of the part here. Just making sure I get everything, you know. Are you dating anyone? No, I'm not dating anyone. All right, so we've got like all the top. We're just gonna go in there a little bit. And it's already like turning blonde. Now we're gonna focus on the back. Now obviously I can't really see the back, but what I like to do is just like split it and kind of feel around and then we'll, we'll take a look. Don't worry, we'll, we'll take a look at the end. I'm not a professional. I am not expecting this to be like a white wand and nor do I need it to be because I am going blue today. So right now what I'm doing is I'm taking every strand, just like small pieces, like about that big and get the bleach all the way on it and kind of massage it in there. How do I get a girl to give me a chance? Be a good listener and be kind and be patient. Focus on yourself, focus on being a nice person, giving out good vibes to the universe and good things will come to you. How do you guys come up with your set list for your shows? Well, there's no special method here. Um, we all take turns making set lists. I basically pick my set list by like the crowd and what I predict the crowd's gonna be like. What's your moon sign and rising? My rising and moon sign is Aries. Manual transmission or automatic? Well, automatic, because I'm lazy. I actually did drive stick for some time and um, it was great. And I was like super proud of myself that I like learned stick and it was awesome. But then I got in a car accident. So we're almost to the end here with this hair. As you can tell, the blue is definitely getting lighter. We've done it. I'll come back to you guys in a little while after I have taken it out. Okay, when you wash out your hair, try to wash out with cold water, which yeah, it sucks, it's not fun. And also keep the gloves on. So I highly suggest having multiple pairs of gloves, one for bleaching, one for the washing process, and maybe a couple pairs for the colors. So we're gonna start mixing the colors. So we've got this beautiful blue by Good Day Young, which is incredible, it's vegan, and it's actually pretty good for your hair. So I'm just gonna put some of that in here. I also have this sky blue, which I think is really pretty. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in there as well. I also love this brand, Ion. I use it a lot. And now we mix. This is a little important trick. Vaseline, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on our face because this keeps the color from getting staining your skin. Now your ears are bound to get some dye on them, but I always like to get my ears too, a little bit. Isn't that just so cute? Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna drag it down the color and we're just gonna like kind of stop at a certain point, okay? This is intense. How long does it take you guys to write a song? It depends. 
Usually it takes like a few sessions to get it right. Sometimes it takes no time at all. Sometimes you just, you know what you want to say and it just comes out like no problem. Other times we have a really hard time finishing a song. Normally it takes like three sessions. We're going in. So why try to be a professional if you're not? You know? So by the way, I'm just like kind of going through this way. Just like parted my hair just so I can get everything. I'm not perfect. Um, neither are you. So flaws, we celebrate flaws here, okay? We celebrate them because flaws make you beautiful and unique. And so, yeah, if my hair looks spotty as shit, like, I'm gonna rock it, okay? It's like a little bit messy, which is fine. No worries. We're gonna start mixing up our lighter colors. Oh, this color is so pretty. We've got this other color, like, let's give it a shot. You know, let's put a little bit of it in there. Why not? Can't even tell because this bowl is blue. Ooh, get it in there. Oh yeah. How many tattoos do you have and what are their meanings? On my ribs, I have life is short but sweet for certain, which is a quote from a Dave Matthews song. I love Dave Matthews. On this arm, I have a uh, dogwood flowers. I'm from Virginia. It's the state flower of Virginia. I have three of them. I got them with my best friend. We have known each other other since we were three years old. I also right here have be brave even when you may not feel brave which is actually my favorite tattoo that I have. Um, it's in my dad's handwriting. There's him and my mom had like tons of letters from when he was like in the war and when my brother was born he was in the Persian Gulf War. He wrote to my mom a letter with all of his life advice for his unborn children. We each have like a copy of this list be brave even when you may not feel brave really stuck out to me. Underneath it, there's four forget-me-not flowers. Each one represents a member of my immediate family, my mom, my dad, my brother. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna let this sit for a while and then I'm gonna wash it out and I'll come back and you'll see the finished look. Who is she? This may not have turned out as I thought it would, but I'm not mad about it. This is cute, guys. Blue is my color. I didn't get to every single question. So while we're here, I'm just gonna answer a few more. You've rocked every color imaginable, but which one is your favorite? Blue. If you could play at any music festival, which one would it be and why? Coachella. I know, basic, so basic. But Coachella, hello. I mean, the most incredible artists play Coachella. I just think it would be, it would be an honor. What slash where is your dream gig? Madison Square Garden? Yeah, or the Super Bowl. Your body is goals. We see you in the gym, but what do you eat on a day-to-day -day basis? Wow, okay. This is a really interesting question because this was me like, four hours ago. I love Taco Bell. I really recently got into juicing. I like celery juice a lot. I love salmon, so I cook a lot of salmon at home. And I also love avocado. Sometimes I make like an avocado caprese salad with like balsamic dressing. And in the morning, usually just coffee and scrambled eggs. If you could ban all assholes to another planet, would you do it? No, I wouldn't. Now, I'm not saying they don't deserve it, because they do. I'm not saying that you should keep them in your life, per se. But I also think that people are capable of change. While they're really annoying and there are people in life that are going to hurt you, I do think that it's a good thing to learn strength and to learn courage and be brave enough to speak up for yourself. And how would you learn that if there were no assholes in the world? Are those... Colored contacts are your real eye color. These are my real eyes. They are really blue. When I'm outside in the sun, they get really light, which I think is cute. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like or subscribe if you want to hang out with me more. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon to be notified every time we post. We post new videos every Wednesday. I'm Annalise, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. All right, that's a wrap, people.